Hi everyone, it's Margaret with Bliss Farm. Today I'm going to show you how two simple ingredients, applesauce and cinnamon, can make for the most amazing smelling ornaments for you to decorate your tree and home. So, like I said, all you need is applesauce and cinnamon. You're going to need one cup applesauce and one and one third cup cinnamon. You're going to stir it up in a bowl and you will get this. Then you want to, as you would flour your uh, countertop or board, you want to put cinnamon on it instead and then dump your um, cinnamon dough on top. You're going to roll this out to about a quarter inch thick and I will show you that. Okay, so before rolling out your dough, you do want to mix it a little more once you get it on your countertop or board. Uh, be sure that you have cinnamon on your countertop so it does not stick. You want to just make sure that um, it's really combined well and that it's nice and smooth, smooth and um, holds together well. If you need you know, if it's a little wet, you can add a little bit more cinnamon. If it's a little dry, you can add a little applesauce. But the one cup applesauce to one and one third cinnamon, I've never had a problem with. It's usually just perfect. Um, as long as you use some cinnamon um, when you're uh, doing the final uh, kneading before you roll it out. So at this point, I'm ready to roll out. Uh, you do not want to roll it too thin or too thick. I would say about a quarter inch is perfect. Right around a quarter inch, give or take just a little bit. And then you want to take your choice of cookie cutters and uh, cut your shapes. And then you want to line them on some lined cookie sheets or place them on some lined cookie sheets. I'm using parchment paper and then I just take an everyday drinking straw and poke the holes in. Don't forget to do that before you bake them because once you bake them you won't be able to do it and you will not be able to hang them. Once you have them, uh, your cookie sheets all filled, you want to put them into, put your sheets into a uh, about a 200 degree oven. Uh, I believe I have mine set here for 225 or just under 225 and you want to bake them for one hour. Okay so my ornaments are done. They baked in a about a 225 degree oven for an hour and then you let them cool in the oven and it takes um, about 45 minutes to an hour to cool completely. Then you take them out and just cut whatever kind of string or ribbon you would like and tie them up so that you can decorate your tree or hang them on a doorknob or you can even just uh, place a few on a plate. Just make sure that everyone knows they're not edible. They would um, do a lot of havoc on your uh, teeth if you tried to bite into one of those. They smell good enough to eat, but you don't want to try. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And have happy holidays.